Hello people, and welcome back to part 41 of Begusia, the city's Skylines build guide. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, sorry for being fairly quiet last week. Um, we were out celebrating uh, my girlfriend's birthday for pretty much Thursday to Monday. <laughs> it's been a pretty hectic weekend. Uh, so there were no live streams in the week because I had to record uh, Saturday and Sunday's episodes. Uh, but hopefully this week we should be back to... Uh, something of a more normal schedule. And uh, look how busy this train station is right now. Uh, we're over in the university campus and there is a whole bunch of trains here. And uh, lots of people coming and going to this part of town. So it's good to see that the public transport being used. Uh, let's just take a little look at our public transport right now. So we have 4,000 residents a week and 1,556 tourists uh, per week using uh, the public transport network so far. Uh, so it's really good, it's really successful, and uh, people are enjoying it. So we have a, a full cemetery over here. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for all the kind comments recently, and also uh, thank you for 500 subscribers. Uh, we hit the milestone on Sunday. Uh, just crazy. Like, thank you so much. Um, I'm definitely going to work on a subscriber special for you guys. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to leave it as a surprise. It's going to take me a while. It's going to have to be a scripted video. And um, it's going to take some editing as well. But there is definitely something in the pipeline. Um, just as a thank you for the support. So uh, yeah. Anyway. Because it is growing nicely. And in today's episode. What I wanted to do was finally. Uh, begin work on the oil industry. So we haven't touched it yet in the city. And uh, we have a couple of spots. Where oil is um, particularly heavy. So we have this kind of bay over here. And we've got two big dark spots here. Uh, alongside in the forest as well. And then also uh, over by the downtown over here as well. So with that in mind, we're probably going to have a couple of different oil industries uh, to play with uh, in Begusia. So let's start out, of course, with any new industry area. We need to, of course, paint the industry area out. So I'm just going to encompass all this dark oil spots with our industrial area. Now, of course, this is on the other side of the river. Uh, where we currently have no population at the moment and of course an industry area is going to need uh, workers it's going to need a, a little town nearby so we can definitely build that today as well um, we'll probably flesh this out into more of a bigger town along here um, but for right now in today's episode we'll keep it fairly small but it will probably develop into you know, a significant sized town eventually as well to so kind of catch all this in um, within the water, uh, when you get to the higher leveled industry areas, you can't actually uh, place in like a, like an oil drilling platform. Uh, so that'd be really cool uh, to have that over there. So we have our industrial um, area painted out right now. So we need to hook them up to a road network somewhere. Now there isn't anywhere really ideally here. I mean, we could bring a bridge across uh, from the university town. Uh, but that would mean a whole bunch of really heavy oil trucks heading down this road uh, and then either way down this one to get back onto the highway. So I think the best place to kind of hook them up for right now is actually this highway over here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring them a bridge across. But rather than just do a normal bridge, uh, today as well, we're going to be playing with a little bit of um, a hydro dam and how we can use these things to obviously generate electricity but also kind of decorate the landscape as well so the hydro power plant um, is a dam and you can place these kind of over water uh, like this you see where it snaps green but for them to work and um, you need the water to be coming uh, down you need a real heavy water flow for these things to actually function properly uh, and there's a real natural bottleneck in this river that flows uh, out of the mountains over here. So I think this is the perfect place uh, to actually have uh, a dam. And uh, that is where we're going to be putting it. So I think probably somewhere around here. Now they can be a little bit finicky. Uh, and you will need to play with them uh, just to get them to snap in. Let's just have a look here. So where can we kind of get to? Seems to be a nice spot there. And there you have a dam. So what this is going to do, the water behind this, uh, for this thing to actually work and to generate electricity, um, water has to back up along the side of it 
So we'll see now um, that the water in front of it is draining away, which is fine. You know, it's a dam. It's going to dam the area. Uh, however, the water behind it is going to pile up very slowly. We've got some janky terraforming going on here. Let's see if we can fix this. Uh, let's go for a smooth tool. Just kind of blend that out. Okay, so let's kind of bring the road network down. Um, let's go ahead and have a regular industrial road. Uh, we'll just kind of keep it looking quite uh, industrious. Let's bring it out by 10. And again, we'll do some nice uh, industrial looking detail around here as well. So it will, uh, it will look a little bit nicer. Get rid of some of these hard edges. Seem to be okay around here for the most part. Okay, so we can see now the water is filling up. So you need to bear in mind that the side, that the the landscape uh, behind the dam has to be the same height or taller than the road itself. Otherwise, you're going to get a bunch of water spilling over the sides, and it's not going to look particularly pretty. And uh, but these things do look really cool. Uh, and we'll start to see just as uh, the the dam fills up, it's going to start pouring through, and that's going to generate electricity for us. Obviously, the heavier the water flow. Uh, the more electricity, uh, the more electricity that it generates. Um, I'm pretty sure that's true. Could be wrong, but yeah. So now they have a way over. Uh, let's kind of give these guys a way onto the highway. So it's very, very crudely hook them up right now. We'll obviously tie this area up. And uh, we've also added in um, a whole, a little, very crude uh, countryside highway uh, on and off ramps here. It's not complete yet, uh, and then this hooks up back through to the National Park, where we've also included um, a little kind of interchange just to help them flow a little bit better because they weren't entering the National Park too well. So we just moved the toll booth back a little bit, and it's just kind of an elevated oval roundabout uh, with on and off ramps either side, and you can just kind of get a sense on the three speed about how people are actually flowing through this area. So the service is starting to come together now as well. Uh, also going to build another uh, town along the coast here as well. That'll look pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, but you can just see how these guys are flowing. Super simple. Just big, long one-way roads. Uh, we've also elevated it around the cliffside here as well. And um, we'll definitely do some more decorating around here with some rocks. And uh, yeah, a lot more kind of impressive uh, terraforming. Uh, we're we'll working with mountains. We'll probably turn this thing here into a big cliff face too. So uh, there is lots of possibilities. Uh, okay, let's come in with this road, um, the industrial road, alongside the railway. And we'll bring him down to a certain point, and then again, just very crudely, um, kind of hook them back up to the highway. So that's going to give our oil industry trucks a way across. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they flow. This obviously isn't final. But just for right now, so we can actually see uh, the oil industry area functioning, uh, it's going to serve its purpose. Okay, so let's draw a road over to these guys. Let's get them hooked into the network. I'm just going to use the uh, highway road. You know, this is perfect for traversing uh, very long distances. Just keep them flowing. Obviously, this road right now is a little bit janky. You know, it's very up and down, um, almost a bit of a roller coaster looking it down from this way. But, uh, you know, it's just temporary while we hook these guys up. So don't worry too much about it. Let's go ahead and kind of, right, you know, we'll lay the outline of the uh, of the road network and go ahead and introduce some bridges into it later on. And then we'll come down here. Yeah, and our industry area is just across here as well. Kind of approach this uh, railway with a little more sensibility. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a big four lane road and then we're going to create a rail crossing. So the, the trains through this area aren't too frequent and this line isn't too busy, so I'm pretty happy to have the rail crossing here. Uh, we'll see how it kind of develops with uh, the oil industry traffic factored into here as well. So the oil industry is predominantly right along up the beach here. So first of all, let's kind of draw in the main main road. And we'll kind of feature this as the main high street of the town. Uh, and then I'm going to come off to the left-hand side. 
uh, with an industrial road. And we'll bring this down here, and this will be quite a long road. So again, just keep checking where your oil is. Okay. So I think I'd be happy to kind of introduce um, the oil industry building uh, just alongside here. So let's go for about there. And that's going to unlock us, if I can get rid of this. Uh, a small oil pump, an oil sludge pyrolysis plant, I think that's how you pronounce it, and a small crude oil tank farm as well. So let's have a look at what these things do. So a small oil pump, a single oil pump for extracting oil industry raw material from an underground reservoir. Extractor needs to be placed within a oil field. Uh, oil pump area so no, it's pretty fine uh, the in industry area uh, oil sludge paralysis plant uh, takes oil and processes it into petroleum so that's really important if you remember and um, some of our factories actually need petroleum so these guys are going to help turn on those factories which is great news it's also going to affect all this area of the city uh, yeah so that's going to be petroleum for us and then the small crude oil tank farm, uh, a small crude oil storage with pumping station, pipes and four tanks for storing oil industry raw materials. So this thing, um, I'm pretty sure this does actually produce crude oil. Yeah, because it, ha it has a pump, doesn't it? Okay, so here is uh, the oil industry main building. It's a very nice looking asset, I think. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and grab uh, so let's have, a look, let's have a look at the other assets first before we go ahead and place them in. So here we have uh, an oil pump and the process plant. So let's have to take a look at them. So this oil pump is obviously, um, you know, it looks quite, it's, very, it's a very small asset, it only takes up two tiles. And the uh, process plant here as well is a little, um, I think it's quite cute looking. Again, it's nothing too major, uh, as with any other kind of... Um, industry asset the more you level up uh, the bigger the assets become uh, so let's kind of place some oil pumps in uh, we need to get producing some oil here so let's have um, a dirt road that's going to run up alongside uh, the actual main building itself and then we're just going to come down here and i'm just going to keep checking uh, for my oil again i'm going to leave the uh, overlay on uh, whilst i'm drawing my roads out just so i kind of know uh, where I can and uh, can not place these things. So I'm almost going to box in uh, the oil area itself with the dirt road. Uh, let's have this running along the coast as well. And uh, Let's go for snapping off while we move around uh, the pillars of the railway bridge. And let's kind of curve back into it here. And then we'll probably come around this side. And then I'll have my snapping back on. Wonderful. That's going to give us a nice little road. It's going to be pretty cool to see uh, all the trains passing over the oil industry as well. So let's get a small oil pump in here first of all. Um, let's kind of have them on little offshoots rather than on the main road. So I'm going to go for one here, here and here. That's just going to give us four oil pumps and those guys are going to start producing uh, oil. Now where is the uh, birch oil products? Let's just go for something. Let's go for Baguzi oil fields and uh, they'll start to produce some materials for us. Let's go ahead and draw in uh, the water network for this place. Uh, we're actually very nearly out of sewage treatment. Uh, we will add some in, just hook them up temporarily. Um, so I'll probably actually add in uh, maybe a little little water tower here as some decoration. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, in terms of power. Uh, I think it would make sense to have an oil power plant in this area. Uh, you know, kind of integrating it into um, our industry area already. Um, you know, it's a nice big industrial looking building and it's also powered by oil. So it would make sense for her to 
to have an oil plant around here. Let's go ahead and kind of um, see where we can squeeze this in. So we'll delete this back rear and have it opposite. So we can factor that in as part of our uh, oil industry area. Uh, we'll also draw just a couple of roads up alongside it just so it's kind of boxed in nicely and uh, these industrial roads they have these little like yellow pillars on them and it does just make it look a little bit more industrious they are quite nice to add in okay so let's hook these guys up just with a temporary power line yeah we'll slowly start constructing our oil industry uh, okay so to level up we need to produce a whole bunch of resource again that will come uh, just with the area running and workers until next level is 56 out of 150 we have the capacity for 189 workers and um, so that's going to be fine we just need to let a little bit of time roll by until this place levels up so let's kind of make an accompanying oil town uh, to fit alongside this so this is almost like starting a new area uh, let's go ahead and draw in uh, some nice little road networks so we have um, the rail junction right here, obviously, so building a road like this is going to create more traffic at this junction. And there's already going to, going to be oil traffic coming down, uh, as you can see them right now. Uh, so we'll possibly build uh, another entrance under this bridge and have them flow that direction as well. Uh, we'll just have to see, but you can see now with only just a few oil pumps, uh, we're getting a fairly amount of significant oil traffic. So putting more pressure on this junction uh, isn't a particularly smart idea at this point. So let's come maybe uh, by 10 blocks down. And let's just start making uh, a nice simple simple town layout. Nothing too fancy. Uh, let's go for maybe uh, a little bit of a community hub here. And we'll kind of mark that out with another road so we know what we're going to be placing there. And then let's go for some more roads along here. That's just a real simple uh, basic town layout. I'm also going to have a one way road in through here that hooks into the oil. Uh, so what that'll do is people that want to get from this side of town to the oil industry, um, rather than putting pressure on this junction, they can actually come through here. So that should work nicely for them. Uh, bring some water through. Also, um, thank you for all the likes and comments and shares on the uh, the new modular build video. Yeah, you guys really enjoyed the low density neighborhood. Uh, I'm glad it was uh, of use to you guys. Uh, okay, so let's go for some big four by four zonings uh, up along here. Again, we're not gonna have it super symmetrical. I do want a little bit of kind of um, off symmetry uh, to this place, just so it it does look like a small town. Uh, okay, let's give them some basic services. Uh, we'll give them a fire station right on the corner, a uh, police department right next to it as well, uh, and then we'll give them a couple of schools. Uh, let's have the elementary in. Uh, let's have this on the corner here. And the high school on this side. Terrain's getting a little bit janky down here. Let's try and of, let's just kind of straighten this out. Create a little bit of a uh, a cliff face for the town to sit on. Let's kind of come along here, and then again, this stuff we can just uh, smoothen out so it isn't as severe. Kind of along the wall there. Okay, of course these guys will need power. Let's. Uh, Let's bring them into the grid and then begin on a little bit of commercial as well. So a nice bit of commercial right in the middle here and a nice bit of block there too. And uh, We're getting some zoning coming in now. Let's get another block in there. Uh, let's take one off that. Let's have a look here. Uh, let's have blocks of three right there and then what we'll do is just to help make people move around a little bit. 
we'll give them a nice little walking path. Uh, also through here as well. We've actually got some uh, crazy terrain generation there, haven't we? Um, let's see if we can delete these roads here and then we'll try and pull these out a little bit just so it's a, it's a touch smoother and isn't quite as severe. Okay. There we go. That's a little nicer. Let's make sure that these aren't one way. Bring this guy out as well. Okay. Let's have a nice big block there. Fill all this in along the back. And then again, just to make this place nice and walkable, I'm going to have a path through the middle. And one through there. Uh, and also through there as well. So I don't want this town to be growing like massively big, nothing like compared to, uh, we've got some more empty cemeteries over here. Let's make sure that we are emptying these out. This is something I wish they would change for City Skylines too as well actually. Uh, it's just to have cemeteries and garbage dumps empty by themselves. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure that the mayor of the town doesn't need to come and personally empty out uh, the cemeteries when they get full. Uh, but okay, let's have a look how we're looking from the coastline. And then let's kind of see how this little oil town is beginning to develop. Okay, so I think we need a little bit of forest around here. Um, so yeah, we don't want to expand too much further this way because we will have some more. Uh, oil fields along here as well. This stuff where it goes quite light black, I'm not too, not too bothered about. But uh, we do want to factor in um, a little bit of uh, a little bit of a coastal dirt road. Uh, let's kind of bring him along here. Let's get him as close to the water as we can. And then we'll just leave him trailing off down there so we know uh, that's kind of the limit as to where we want to build. Uh, let's get some more commercial in, in this town. I do like this little hill as well. I do like the fact, um, although this uh, coin laundry hasn't had the best time building on this hill. He's almost built the windows and the doors a little too close to the earth. Okay, so these guys are leveling up services here are working for them. Uh, we didn't place the um, the other plant, did we? Let's go ahead and have a look at that. So this guy's going to be producing petroleum for us. Um, so I'm going to have him within the industry area, obviously, but uh, not within the oil fields, uh, because he actually doesn't need to be there. He just needs to be within the industry area. So let's have our last snapping on. I think maybe here would be a good spot. Uh, let's grab a road up to there, just like that. And then we'll grab this guy in. Let's paint the industry area out a touch more. And I think we'll have two of these guys. So these guys are going to take the oil and then turn them into petroleum, which is uh, going to allow us to turn on um, or add in rather uh, a couple of factories. We head over to our factory zone in over here. Yeah, so that guy needs metal. Uh, it's not these guys, is it? Let's have a look at the um, at the factories. So soft paper factory uh, needs plastics and petroleum. Modular house needs plastics as well. Uh, our oil industry is going to give us plastics. Uh, we will obviously get the petroleum refinery as well. Uh, yeah, we're going to get a couple of new factories as well uh, with the oil industry area level up. Which is going to be really cool. Uh, to finally kind of flesh out the remaining factory space that we've uh, that we've planned in here so so long ago. And of course these guys will need water and power. Otherwise they're not gonna be particularly impressed with us. And uh, what else can we place in here? 
let's delete this connection here. Okay. So these guys over here are complaining of not enough workers. That's fine. We have plenty of uh, residential zoning to factor in for you. Uh, let's have a path through here as well. So I don't want this place looking too fancy either. I don't want to do any kind of over-the-top decorating. It is just a little small town uh, that was almost set up for uh, the oil that they discovered under the ground here. And we got a couple of garbage complaints on this side of town as well. Okay, it's probably uh, a wise idea to give them their own garbage processing center. Uh, let's kind of come under the bridge here and uh, we'll make something for them. So let's drop in. Uh, we'll have a garbage dump uh, and a recycling center and then just hook him up a little something like that okay let's um, map these guys out with water let's go for a little bit of zoned industry as well uh, I very very rarely actually use this zoned industry uh, within the city and uh, there is actually some unique buildings that come um, from actually using this kind of stuff so we need to make sure that we actually uh, do use it occasionally. And it would be cool to have some uh, some of those unique buildings as well. Let's go ahead and draw out a district for this area. Uh, let's kind of bring it up to there. And we'll give it a cute name as well and apply some policies here. Uh, let's also give these guys uh, a post office. Post office are always nice. Uh, right on the corner there should do nicely. Again, let's make sure that we keep uh, that small town vibe going with lots of paths uh, between our key buildings. And then we'll bring one up to here as well. Just like that. So we get a nice little kind of high street theme starting to. Uh, happen along here. I want to apply um, a couple of policies. So, uh, recycled plastic is going to make our recycling centre work with 20% more efficiency. Uh, so, that's going to help reduce the accumulation as well. Uh, and that's probably it for right now. Let's do recycling too. Uh, that's going to reduce our garbage accumulation, uh, which is going to be fantastic news. So all the post office trucks are heading away right now. So the traffic isn't too bad at the moment. And we hit level two. Fantastic news. So we unlock the petrochemical plant, small oil drilling rig, household plastics factory, oil industry, workers barracks, and the crude oil storage cabin. So let's go ahead and add in a couple of these guys. Let's actually find out what we need to do uh, to hit it first. So the next level is 350 workers. We already have the capacity for 329. Uh, we need to produce 1500 barrels of oil so let's go ahead and have a look at our new oil buildings uh, where are we at petrochemical plant so this guy is going to produce us plastics um, so it uses fluid cat catalytic cracking to produce oil fins that are the basis for polymers and oligomers used in products like plastics this processing building requires oil to produce oil special good plastic and then obviously it needs to be placed within the industry area again itself for it to work. So I think I'm happy to have kind of a cluster of processing buildings around here. Um, let's go ahead. I want to make sure that the roads stick very tight to them. Uh, let's go ahead and draw in like that. So that's going to be fine. Okay, so we've got some very... Uh, industrious. So look at these buildings here that I've developed. That is very nice indeed. I tell you, actually, we could even make. So this is something we haven't really talked about before. So before the industries DLC in Cities Skylines, um, there was industry specializations. Um, where you could assign each of the four themes to an area and it would affect the industrial zoning that spawned within that area. 
So since we're playing with oil industry, it makes sense to actually have the zoned industry in this area as oil. I'm pretty sure that makes sense what I just said. <laughs> um, if it doesn't, let me know down in the comments. I can probably explain it a little bit better in typing. But um, you know, this is going to give us some real nice looking um, industrial oil buildings. And, uh, it isn't going to count to the amount of oil we produce. That's only affected by these buildings. But um, you know, it's so nice to factor them in. Uh, let's maybe have. Uh, a crude oil storage farm here and he can um, begin to store the oil okay very nice indeed uh, what else did we unlock we also had uh, the crude oil storage cabin uh, which I think would be nice thing to have in here so that's going to help store more raw material as well and we can just begin to see now that there is a very uh, heavy industrial theme beginning to take place around here as we slowly place in assets it's really cool to see the trains flowing through as well uh, I really do like that and obviously we have uh, the heavy cargo trains uh, flowing along this line as well Let's see how uh, the dam is performing. So you can see now that the dam is uh, full right to the top. And it does look really cool. Uh, kind of with cars driving across the top of it. And uh, all the water back to it. So you can see how the water level has risen now uh, compared to what it was. Uh, yeah, I am really liking this area. It's uh, It all looks very sparse, it's all very grand, lots of long stretches of road and rail. It really does um, help give your map a sense of scale. Uh, let's see how... Obviously we will need to give um, this highway entrance uh, an entry and exit point at some point as well. Uh, but we'll do that in the live stream and configure the interchange uh, over there this week at some point. Uh, as we begin to kind of continue to detail and expand this area. Uh, join the live streams uh, okay we also unlock the small oil drilling rig uh, and these guys uh, do the same job as the oil pumps um, except they are going to pro help produce uh, more of the the raw material uh, so let's go ahead and have a look how big they are so they're two by three so let's go ahead and draw in um, a little bit of a A little bit of a zone for them. So also we can get on in right there. There we go. So rather than just placing them um, alongside the road, I'm just going to make these little dedicated squares that are 80 by 100 each. So just have a couple of them like that. I think it just makes them look a little bit more important rather than just spamming them along the main road and you're going to have some nice dedicated areas for them got some rocks in the road here let's get rid of those guys uh, yeah, this guy is complaining of not enough raw materials uh, but there is plenty being produced and let's just have what now we should have yeah more than enough worker space and uh, we just need to wait to hit the next level and then uh, we can carry on but that's going to be a good place for me guys to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse and kind of tidy up this kind of no man's land that we have between the oil uh, and the new oil town uh, and just kind of yeah make it look a little bit nicer so we'll be right back
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. And this is certainly a solid start to this town, and uh, we will definitely be coming back here on Thursday's live stream to carry on expanding it, uh, where we'll more than likely actually add in a passenger station for the rail line alongside uh, a cargo terminal uh, for the industrial rail as well. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's coming along nicely. Uh, definitely still lots of work to be done. And we also hit level 3 of the oil industry uh, during the detailing as well. Uh, and I think this nice little woodland between the town and the oil uh, is a nice way of just separating them away from one another. But yeah, I'll leave you alone. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.